Saat ini korban bernama Umay masih terbaring lemah di rumah sakit. This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world. And this time we are checking out Rewind Indonesia 2023. Now, I know there's going to be a number of collection of amazing artists that I have um, reacted to as well as not reacted to. So this is sort of like a highlight of my moment of a little bit of... Who is who should I react to? I mean, the list is endless. Pucci Ariani, loneliness. Um, I, I could go through a whole list, but what I'm saying is, is that there is at least 60% of these artists I have never heard of. So this is an opportunity to go into these artists and say, right, okay, do my homework there and check out these artists and find out who's going to be unlocked. Pietroni favorite, but who's going to be intriguing to me? Who's the ones going to like, like? This is big for me, you know. This is really, really, really big because I mean, I just reacted to um, Leslie's new uh, uh, new upload, Angus, but this is like a treasure chest. This is like the the holy Corral or Bible, whatever you want to call it, of Indonesian artists that I have heard of and not heard of, and that's like, Ugh, this is brilliant. I wonder if um, Fabian um, is on here. Fabian, 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 Fabian. No, he's not. Okay. That's a bit like, he's big for me. Wait a minute. He's got to be there. He's got to be there. No? No. <sighs> wow. We've got a lot to talk about if he ain't there. So look, we we'll just press the play button and go straight into it. Or, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know this is long, apologies, but I just saw something that I want to highlight. Put into our illustrious leader, um, Google Translator. <laughs> And see what it says. Right. We want Indonesia, a celebration of creativity of the younger generation. Okay, that's why um, um, uh, Fabian is not there. Uh, which um, summarizes various uh, phenomena and trends in the last year as it was presented in a video containing stories with a common trend and compilation of popular events at home and abroad presented by collaborations between content creators and figures across the land platforms and it goes water. So that's what it says. Uh, so now I'm in the pocket. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Presented by Hotto. Okay. So what is oh this? Sosok yang akan menggambarkan Indonesia di cerita ini. Okay. He's a narrative. Wow. Hats off to you, bro, for doing this. So is the money going towards this? Watching this mashup going to the needest, the needy. Well, that is brilliant, that's lovely. Can you imagine if everybody around the world would do that? It must be in the place. So at that ozone layer, ozone layer as well. Is this an advert? I don't know what. Yeah, bag. Because he's hitting himself.
tindak kekerasan. What is going on here? I thought this is being one in Indonesia and orang anak pejabat negara. Saat ini korban bernama Umay masih terbaring lemah di rumah sakit. Well, and he's going to go back into rewind, going back in time, or he's... I'm lost, I'm totally lost, I'm totally lost. Rewinding the door. Right, so he's going back into the past of 2023. But why did he have to die? Sorry, we're not just going to ignore what just happened here. I was looking at, okay, we won Indonesia 2023 and it's got the list of artists. So you heard what I said. So what was that about? How, you can look at it in a number of ways, in a morbid way, that you have to die to go back into your past or whatever. That's the only way. Do you know what? I was having this conversation. I know I'm going to be really, 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 really quick, right? I was having this conversation about, uh, after seeing, I don't know, some scientists talking about um, it's not possible to go into the future, you know, to build, man will never build a time machine. And I was thinking, uh, the human being is already a time machine. Because if you think about it, um, when you, when, I, well, I don't know, but I just think about if you die, then you have the ability to go forward and backward or just um, backward and present. Because when we see ghosts, we see them in the, in the old age outfits and all that kind of stuff of their, of their present time or when they died. So surely if you're a spirit, you'd be able to go uh, into, you know, time that is irrelevant to you. So you can go forward and backwards through that because time is not irrelevant. So is that what it means? He he couldn't do this without dying. That is a kind of like twisted kind of, I don't know, a twisted intro, bro. That is a twisted intro. I get it now. Um, directed by um, Chandler. Mate, Chandler and, and, um, and um, Andy, Andy. Mate, used to. I don't know what the hell. What? That was brilliant. Now can I think about it? But... Mate, who, why, why would he even do that? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go back just a little bit. I just had to clear that out of the way. Apologies. But that was like, what's, what? We have to establish the elephant in the room. I'm sorry. Right, to about here. He got beaten up. Almost ran over. To get to here. Make me so down in a loneliness You left me, you left me when I'm in love well, that's, Then that's the angel at the end I like what you said there, I do How was it that day? Wait a minute. So he's... Oh, 
Hari Selasa ujian fisika Giat belajar biar lulus Look, you know what? Two things that I can't do at the same time, right? So, as you know, in the description page, you've got the list of the artists and the songs and the, and where they are set in the uh, in in his mashups. What is very difficult to do is look down, then look up, look down, then look up, look down, then look up. Because once I look down at the artist and trying to figure out where the artist is, at the number is, I'm missing a lot of things here. So I've got to make a decision. I can't do both at the same time. I mean, I thought normally with um, a number of mashups, the names and the answers will come up on there. So it'd be very, it's, it's helpful. This is very, very difficult. So there's a, so we're um, four minutes and 54, um, 54 uh, seconds. So I have to scroll down, four minutes, 54 seconds, four minutes, 54 seconds. So we're at now um, a trend by Chris Martin. Um, is it Pantan uh, Pinjam Dulu? Uh, Seratus? So, and that's so far we've gone through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 songs. Right, and I've only known one artist, <laughs> and that's Pucci Ariani at the beginning. So I'm like, whoa, who's that? Who's that? So do you understand why I'm going down, up, down, up? I've got to make a decision now, right about now. I've got to do one or the other, because I'm missing out a hell of a lot. And then after uh, my reaction, when it comes to analysis, then I can look down and say, right, okay, these were at, at this number, blah, blah, blah. I can't do both. I really can't. I'm trying my best. And it's just going really, really quick. <laughs> so I'm going to go on to uh, just looking at the, the, uh, the, the music videos. That's what I'm going to do. Then after, go down and look at who's who and, and what time they were singing at. But there's a hell of a lot to cover. So let's do that, shall we? I'm going to go back just a little bit. But right back, I'm like... I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. Oh, oh, wow, wow. So my brain's going over, overloaded right about now. Right. <laughs> Sometimes it's not working. Hari Salasa Ujian Fisika Hari Salasa Ujian Fisika Apa kabar kota Jakarta? Apa kabar kota Jakarta? Trying it. Nah, no, Are they mostly on TV like they're on the series? Like when you need to see a song Chikini, kukong dan niya 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 It's so sweet I want to look down quite a bit up, but I know I'm going to miss a lot. Right, okay, breather. <laughs> what number? 610. 610, 610, 610. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. This is brilliantly edited, but you've, you've got to get your head around it of what's going on. So he's, he's been thriller now. Indonesia. You're kind of like an Alfie Rev. But why would you go to hell, bro? Ma, juta kentar, 
mambel ayang benak maju tak gentar haki tadi serak mai Right, <laughs> I get the mashups. I get that he is in a, what do you call it? The the, the middle, I, I forgot what it is. You know when before you go over line, regardless if you're into he heaven or hell, you just have that crossroad, there you go, the crossroad. Uh, where you are tested whether you are good enough to go to heaven or bad enough to go to um, to hell. Uh, so he's out. Of, so he's not a. So he's not an out of body experience. He's literally come out of his body on the brink of death, and um, where he could come back into life. You know, his spirit can go back into his body and recover, or you know. So I get that, but this part here is like it reminds me of. Um, I can't remember what artist said. It goes through this um, to get through the stairway to heaven, or what was it? You gotta go through hell to get to the stairwell. To, to go, go through hell to get through to the stairwell of heaven or something like that to get to the stairwell of heaven so is he a okay, case so of he's going through but it doesn't make sense because at the beginning Pucciarani he, he done that Pucciarani thing which for me was angelic voice so there were that was the heaven entrance so now is it kind of thing that he's been tested I'm just trying to understand his part in the mashup that's what it is because it it throws it throws me it really, really throws me, but it's really, really interesting as well because no one's not doing this kind of mashup. Everybody's going like, "That's where you go, mashup." There you go, or a YouTube mashup of uh, the artist that they react to do mashup. But this is like Alfie Rev kind of thing. He's, he's put thoughts on. Not sorry, I'm saying it as if one person's doing it. The team, right? Collectively, you've put in on more than just a mashup. It's something to say, right? Look, we've got tons of talent, but also we can. We can present it in, 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 a, in a unique way, other than just, being, uh, just thinking out the box. And I like your thought process out the box, because it's going to have people's head thinking about what's going on here. I'm sure there's going to be loads of you saying, Uncle Mama, this is what it is about. Thank you, because <laughs> I'm going to, my head, you know what? I'm just going to press play and let all this thing, what I'm thinking about, just stay in my head for a while. I'm going to go back, just a little bit, but right now I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, come together. And we will win what? I love things that keep me on my phone. That I can't suck out straight away. <laughs> the younger generation. Ah. I'm beginning to kind of make. So all these people must be in the hospital as well. The evil music? And 
that the good music? Do they represent the music industry? So I'm just getting all the bad crap out of music out of the way and just putting these good amazing artists in place. But I love this part of God because this also represents frequencies. I have to press pre um, pause. That end part, totally get it on every kind of level. Every kind of level. I get. I think I'm getting it now. So, I would like to think. There we go. I would like to think that in the music industry, as we all know, there is some serious. There's a there's a battle between good and evil. That's how the way I'm thinking about it. Where we're fed certain things that on a musical term, it's like oh. Mm. Yeah, you know, if you listen to all the conspiracies and all that stuff, frequencies and blah, 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 blah. Um, and, you know, what's happening over in the States is <laughs> amazing. Um, but I'm seeing this as, okay, that evil was representing whatever evil is in, in the music industry. And then you've got the younger generation who's representing the goodness of what they want to bring to the music industry that they seem to can't pierce through. But now, you know, independence, you've got that platform. But what was interesting is the sound frequencies that was using to defeat evil. You know, it's, I mean, you can go religious ways, you know, the, um, you know, in the beginning there was the word and word was God, you know, word, and they're saying the word was frequency. So, you know, angels, frequency, it's all about frequencies. And I just love that part. Um, that's how I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm like to think. I'm sure that I'm totally wrong. But I'm just trying to grasp my head about what I'm, I'm watching. Because normally when someone says, um, watch this mashup of, you know, 2023, and I have done, I'm just thinking of a collection of amazing artists going all the way through, lasting 17 or 50, um, 15 minutes, and yes, and I'm doing my research, and sometimes the, the artists and the, the name of the song will come up on the screen. This is much more than this. <laughs> this is much more. It's what I was thinking is nowhere near what is, what is presented right about now, and I'm loving that because I love the unexpected. Why do we want to, you know, I, I, I hate, like, getting it straight away. This has taken me ages to get. Even right now, I think I don't get it. But I'm just throwing things at it that I think I get. Which I might not get it. <laughs> which I could be totally wrong. I don't know. That's where I am. I'm, I'm in the I don't know world right about now. And it's brilliant. I love this feeling. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know, it's like a beautiful, the most beautiful girl you can imagine coming straight up to you and speaking a language that you don't know. But your heart and your whole body's like, but you know, I think, I hope you understand that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back just a little bit. But this is crazy good. All those guys got to be in the hospital. Surely it would make sense if they are. Sembilan puluh lima tahun silam, Bung Hatta menutup pledoi Indonesia Merdeka dengan sebuah kutipan History. yang berbara. Love it. Beliau mengatakan, hanya satu tanah yang bisa disebut tanah air. Okay, so now you got the names. Ia berkembang dengan usaha dan itu adalah usaha. People to be proud of in Indonesia. Whoa. Not to be part of the 2023. <laughs> what is that? You've got 
guys that just spend a hell of a lot of time, you know that, don't you? I hope you do. I've got to go to Indonesia now. Come on. And that's what's brilliant about this. It gives you the feeling of wanting to be there. Makes me feel that I haven't, I've only skimmed the surface of what is Indonesia. Is it Chandra, um, is it Lao? You can't finish it right there. I want to know what happened to the guy who got beaten up. There's no way that you're going to leave me like this. No, no, what, what's happening? Okay. I like that there's a father and son moment, like... <laughs> I'm getting teary right now. Don't, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> Wine Indonesia 2023. Hats off. Wait a minute. Let's go through the credits, right? Directed by Chandra Lau. I hope so. I'm, I'm saying the name. Aldi and Victory. Or, or uh, is it Adai um, Victory? Let me know about that. Um, Christian Bong, Tommy Lim Lim, um, Sia Nicole, um, Leon. I can't pronounce your surname, so sorry. Uh, uh, and Listia. I love that name. Um, Magdalena. So I'm like, Number one, thank you very much for keeping me on my toes. Thank you very much for keeping me focused on what's going on here, on your storyline, on your theme towards the songs. But that was amazing. The list of artists that was on there, it will happen so fast and so quick, I couldn't keep up with it. So this is something that I, you have to go back a number of times if you want to be in depth with what is Indonesia and react to Indonesian artists. Like, I want to, and I, as you know, that, you know, I'm reacting to Indonesian artists all over. Um, and I'm just trying to understand why there's so many amazing Indian artists with so many, with so much low views. And they only get high views when they do song covers. Um, uh, and I'm trying to get my head around that. But there's a whole massive Bible log, right, of um, artists that I've never even come across. And I'm like, it almost feels like, oh, well, back to square one. But it's not, it's just like another door open so that's amazing for me the storyline uh, listen you i'm gonna be really really brief uh, you guys you have to fill me in um let me know uh, it, this gave me a feeling of the alfie rev um in in the theme storyline but there's also parts where is that a group or band or is that them just filling in the gaps i uh, representing um different artists or different um celebrities you know, like they're dressed up trying to be that person. And then you've got the um, uh, um, people of Indonesian who 
have done some amazing, who, who's got some amazing accolades for 2023. You, you saw that. And some of them was like, what, what, when, what? When did this happen? So it's educational, number one, yeah? Of what is Indonesia, or what has Indonesia accomplished for 2023? And not only for the Indonesians to watch, for everybody else to watch it from around the world. Because if, like, right back now, Indonesia is, every day, it's just getting more and more and more and more popular. That's what I'm seeing. Like, I, I remember when I, um, when I first started reacting to Indonesian music, uh, I'm just looking out for other reactors. And it was only, like, Indonesian people that were from Indonesia that was reacting to Indonesian music. But it's grown so much in a short space of time. And you've got a, a number of artists to be thankful for that. And one of those artists, I mean, throughout the years, don't get me wrong, for pres one of the, um, no, one of the um, present artists of 2023 that sort of like put a map on um, Indonesia was, of course, Pucheriani. She had the amazing platform and, you know, she went really, really far. So now eyes are open of, okay, Pucheriani, we love you, but what else have you got in your country that we don't know about? And so it's opportunities for other Indonesian artists and other Indonesian creators to say, right, you know, we should ride on this bandwagon. You know, we should make ourselves present as well. Because Putri Ariane has presented a platform for us to do that. She has made that, uh, you know, for, I mean, her part, what she's played from America's Got Talent is, Putri Ariane, you're wonderful, but what else has your country got? So when you go into her channel, when you see her doing songs in, in her country when she came back, it's like very, very intriguing. And it's just more breadcrumbs to follow. So and this is the creme de la creme. Because, yes, it did at the first beginning, you see Pucciariani, but it's all okay. Pucciariani opened the doors. You know, that, I love that because he spiritually came out of his body, went through the door, and the first um, sound you heard was Pucciariani, as in like Heaven's Gates kind of thing. And then it was an opener, intro, into this is what we have. Welcome to Indonesia. And I love that. Maybe I'm looking too deeper into it. Maybe there is a more simpler explanation that I'm waiting to hear back from you guys. Looking forward to it. I really am. Until next time, I salute you. Boom! You break my heart, break my hope, make me so down.